So, Minister, um, so far you've been walking the ground uh, in the recent months, especially very much so. Uh, so can you tell us what is the reception been from the residents? The reception has been uh, very positive, very warm towards me and my team. And uh, many people coming up uh, very strongly to acknowledge the work that has been done, wishing us good luck, uh, really caring for us. So it's very touching, very uh, warm, very good to be among so many people who are so supportive, old, young, middle-aged, all alike. And of course, you know, out of every uh, maybe 30, 40 people we meet, uh, two or three will say uh, quite directly that, look, uh, we are not supportive. Uh, we are going to vote for the opposition. And I would assume among the others, you know, the balance who are not so direct, there will also be some who may well uh, either be undecided or intend to vote for the opposition but may not tell us. But I think uh, you get a clear sense, or at least I get a clear sense, that uh, a significant majority, a very significant majority, are very, very warm, very, very supportive. Could, uh, of those who have uh, expressed otherwise, uh, have they told you why, perhaps? Well, uh, when they tell me that they are either undecided or if they that they have uh, decided to vote against, I will try and engage them, and I'll ask them, look, can I persuade you otherwise? And I'll tr spend a few minutes. Uh, some of them are prepared to talk. Uh, some of them uh, are not really. They said, look, uh, I've already made up my mind, and we have to respect that. Yeah. Uh, could you also share with us what, what concerns do they have when yeah. they say this? When they do express their concerns, uh, I try and deal with them. I mean, this morning I had a couple of people express concerns. Uh, one was on, um, you know, uh, housing. The gentleman had bought his house some time ago. His flat is appreciated uh, tremendously. But at the same time, he wants to now buy a resale flat, a bigger resale flat. And he says government should control uh, the prices or else uh, no resale should be allowed. So I tried pointing out to him there are 1 million uh, HTV flats in Singapore. Many have been bought by people who have paid a certain price and who expect to be able to sell it as an asset. You know, people may need to sell it for a variety of reasons. They may want to downgrade. They may want to, you know, do other things. Uh, not many people will just give up their home, of course. But if they sell, it is usually with a view to replacing it with something else. But people will want the option of being able to sell, not that they must sell or that they will sell. But uh, it will be very difficult for the government to say to them, you cannot sell. Uh, I tried explaining as an absolute condition. He wasn't convinced. Um, so, you know, there are... It's uh, our task to try and put the policy framework in context and uh, what benefits the most number of people. And then if some people don't like that policy, we'll have to explain why it makes sense for the country as a whole. But nevertheless, not everyone may be convinced. Uh, someone else came to me with a very local problem about wet market, you know. It was so one complaint. He's living on the Sambawang side. He said, you know, there are no wet markets. There was, and then um, the wet market did not see enough business, so it's gone off. It's a legitimate request on his part. We will have to see how we can try and help. Uh, so you get... But that gentleman, after the conversation, was persuaded. You know, I explained to him what we have done in the past, and uh, we will try. He understood. He said he will try and support. Or well, actually, he said he will support. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so could we move on to the next question on yes. Workers' Party? Yes. Uh, Workers' Party said that they want to bring back the kampung spirit. Yes. Mentioned. So uh, what is your comment to that? Well, two comments. You know, when you make statements like this, they have to be a little bit more than a catchy phrase. It has to be meaningful. For it to be meaningful, you've got to say, uh, what exactly do you mean by Kampung Spirit and how exactly are you going to achieve that? Uh, what I can see from the little that has been put out, and not much has been put out, it's quite little, 
it's uh, sort of you know uh, recalling the halcyon days of gone the past 30 40 years ago uh, at a slower time with farms with everyone knows each other and uh, there is a certain uh, spirit within the community and we are going to try and bring that back how exactly are you going to translate that into a modern bustling vibrant community with uh, people from all over the island uh, basically now having made their homes in Ishun Sambawang uh, it's not quite clear to me and they haven't made clear either but uh, to the ex- you know you have to realize uh, all of us in our individual wards whether in Ishun or in Sambawang have been doing uh, something to create a community bond a very strong community bond and that is very evident in, in this area uh, through our grassroots organizations through our temples through our social organizations we bring people together we have series of events for residents of the various hdb blocks block parties floor parties temple events a variety of events aimed at senior citizens young kids uh, uh, younger people who want uh, adventure outings whole series of things and we cr- try and create the bonds the linkages and uh, by and large we have been successful so i don't know whether the workers party is saying that they will do something beyond that and if so what yeah